leaving current politicians aside, yeah. what we want to <laughs> what's coming up this year, can you pick out any examples of people who had good, bad, indifferent voices? Well, my favourite politician, voice-wise, is someone like Tony Benn, who's been around longer than most of us and who is very considered and he's quite deep in his voice partly to do with his age but also you know he, he makes a lot of a lot of nice round sound and you kind of believe what he's saying and so when you hear it like that you think well hang on a second you don't seem to be trying very hard and if you're not trying very hard it must be true welcome back we're looking through the newspaper front pages as they come in with the lbc presenter anthony davis and the journalist Carol Gould, and we're just going to stick with the Observer for a second. But this has come off the back of the way he dealt with the riots, I think. And how can you not be a bit right-wing when it comes to dealing with the riots? I think Cameron was trying to read the mood of the nation, and the mood was, well, you know, you can't just go and steal stuff from shops. So uh, he went at it hammer and tongs, and to be criticised for it, I, I think, is a little bit of hypocrisy coming from the, from the I, opposite. What I, That's not necessarily but it, flawed, but it doesn't it? work like that. I was in the benefits office well, two weeks ago with a friend trying to fill out forms, and I worked out the reason we've got so many people not wanting to work is because it's so difficult to get through the system, jumping through the hoops, filling in the forms, but once you actually get welfare, once you actually get your job seekers allowance, your housing benefit, your council tax benefit, you don't want to let go of it because the process of getting back onto it takes so long and it's so difficult. If I was in that situation, I would probably want to stick on it for as long as I possibly could, fear of having to face the woman but behind the glass. Isn't, isn't, this is my vision for the future, and I'm going to try and convince you but that my vision Dems is better than theirs. this isn't it? And I suppose with this conference in Birmingham, this was their opportunity to actually present some identity that could separate them from the coalition and from the Tories. Yeah. I think whenever you hear in, in Parliament, and also on the street people talking about politics, they refer to a Tory government. Everyone thinks we've got a Tory government. Yeah. Well, we don't. We have a coalition. It's a unique political system, and maybe the Lib Dems are not making enough of it.